Hi, my name is Cindy Rang, and we are going to take you through our shop tour. This is number five, and today we are going to show you all of the pin cushions. All right, so we're going to show you all of the pin cushions. If you are new to our channel, my daughter and I have owned a quilt shop for 22 years. And for five and a half years um, of that time, we did Pin Cushion Club. We did it every month and we only stopped because of the pandemic. And if you keep hearing breathing, heavy breathing around me, my dog comes to work with us. She's our little shop dog. And she gets very confused about the difference between pin cushions and play toys. So she'll be all up in our, bus our business a little bit. So um, all of these patterns are on our website. Some of them are available for immediate download and some are not. Um, the ones that are my personal patterns are. They range in price from $3.99 to, I think there are a couple of bigger ones that are $10. But we're just going to kind of take you through them. I may or may not remember the names of all of them, but all of them are pictured on the website and easy to, um, easy to find. So um, let's see. We're just going to kind of take you through a few of them. So um, this one in my hand that my dog wants so desperately is called All Your Heart. And so it's just a very simple pin cushion that really is just a top and a bottom. And then you do the box bottom. I love this shape. This is a nice heavy shape. Um, you can even use it as a pressing ham if you'd like to. But what we did with this is we printed on printed treasures, or now we have to use EQ printables. Um, we printed a little Bible verse that says, whatever you do, do it with all your heart. It's Colossians 3.23. And then we just put a little wool heart on it. So this was one that I made, um, or we do have some that are, you can either buy just the pattern um, or you can get some kits available. So this is another one, just different colorway. You can see kind of the same idea. I'm going to be careful where I put this so my dog doesn't get it. All right. Um, so again, that one is called All Your Heart. Um, some of these up here, we, we make a lot of them with wool. We love using wool because it's very forgiving. You can stuff it really well. Um, it's easy to easy to cut and you don't have a raw edge. So if you're making something like the little owl or the little robin, you can just cut your edge right here and you don't have to turn anything under. You're just going to stitch it all down, make your little parts, put them all together. Some of them have, most of them have little box bottoms. Um, and our class, we would start at 10, we would finish at noon and almost everybody was fully finished, stuffed and any hand sewing done at the end of the class. So I would say that there's none of them that I'm going to show you that would take more than two hours. Unless you're a very, very beginner and you've not done any of this stuff before, it might take you a little bit longer, but the directions on all of the patterns are really easy. Um, and what we do on all of our patterns, like for example, this one, um, we give you the tips on how to properly stuff a pin cushion. Um, these are on all of our patterns because for me personally, I think that a pin cushion should be firm. I don't like kind of a floppy one. And so this is our chocolate dipped strawberries, just a little take on the little strawberry pin cushion. And you can see that they're all very firm. Um, so let's see the other ones that we have. We have a lot of uh, snowmen. We, um, several of us in the shop have an addiction to snowmen. Well, I'm not gonna remember the names, I think, to any of these guys, but there are several different ones with different accoutrements. Um, some of them, they're kind of fun. You can just go out and get a little stick, put a little stick arm in there. And all you do is you really just, again, make a little slice put a little dab of glue on the end of that and shove it in there because again, it's wool, very forgiving, very easy to work with. And since you have a nice um, stuffing, this I think is one of the patterns that's a little bit more expensive because it's a little bit larger, but it is adorable. Um, and people will ask, well, what do you do with all those pink cushions? Well, we don't put pins in them. We just use them as little soft sculptures around the house, you know, for the holidays. So I think people used to do ceramics. We do pin cushions. So um, that's why they're all very seasonal and you can have them out um, on your entryway table. Or um, I don't think very many of these actually live in my sewing room. I do use the All Your Heart, that gray one. That one does sit at my um, 
at my sewing machine and I do use that one at home. But this guy, again, just super adorable. Let's see, there's also, let's see, there, I might come up with some other snowmen as we dig through here. Um, this is, I think his name is Chili, right? I think I know his name, Little Penguin. Um, now here's another snowman. Again, same idea, some little sticks. This one, we have a little dog and you can put all kinds of different things for the collar. This happened to be kind of a little purse strapping, but we also have a cat that's very similar. Mm, I'll find her. Oh, is she back there? Okay. And she has glitter on her. Let's see. This is a little um, ghost, and I think I have three patterns, I mean, three different shapes in the pattern. And um, I made him out of glow in the dark fabric. And so, um, oh, there's the cat. The cat was in. We have these all over the shop, also. There's a little cat, and you can see again, just a little different option for the collar. Um, but the ghosts, again, glow in the dark fabric, which makes it kind of fun. Uh, the glow in the dark never goes away. You can use it for all kinds of things. And um, the eyes are just drawn on with a permanent marker, which makes it kind of fun. Let's see. Here is some of our little bunny options. This is made out of a minky. Um, so here is another snowman. Just his little head. Somewhere in here, we have a snowball. Let's see. These are the little, I think this is called chicks. Mm. I think we've made, I know we've made three of these all in the bright wool. Super fun, super fast, fast, fast. Make, oh, there they are. <laughs> we, like I said, we have them everywhere. These are the little snowballs. So they're kind of fun. I think we did a set of like four of these. Um, there's different faces. You can do different things with them. And then here, let's see. Oh, let's all get this one first. Uh-oh. I don't know if you can hear that the dog is back. <laughs> Santa's hat. Kind of fun with a little faux vintage bell. Makes it kind of fun. And then let's see. Oh, there's also... A Christmas bell. There's nothing in there. You really could put something in there so that it would jingle. This one is a little dog and this one was made out of that same, it's like a double-sided minky. That's kind of fun. It's like suede on one side and minky on the other. And so instead of doing a double-sided ear, um, and this is just kind of a fun little technique. You're just going to fold it and you put it in that seam when you sew it. It's all done by machine. The only thing that you hand sew is after you turn the whole thing right side out and you stuff it, then you just hand sew the top. But we do this little trick where we put everything, we fill them with walnut shells. We sell the walnut shells on our site and generally one bag will fill a pin cushion. But after you fill them all in there, then you just take... A little bit of either cotton or polyester stuffing and put that over the top just inside on top of those walnut shells so that those walnut shells aren't all up in everything when you're stitching it closed so and I think we used to have a video on our channel about how to properly stuff a um, pin cushion but uh, Brianna tells me that we can't find that anymore so I'm not sure why we took that down or why it got taken down but um, we're gonna redo that so that we'll show you kind of the proper technique for that. Um, let's see, this guy is just adorable. He is just a little ladybug and you can do, I think the pattern actually shows you some little wool wings, but if you don't like to do that, you can make them even wispier wings, which make them kind of fun. What makes him really cute are his little eyes. We have all kinds of buttons. If you don't have access to that, if you want a pincushion and want us to throw in some buttons for you, just let us know um, on your order, just right under your notes that you need that. Here's our little turkey, and he has a little, just a little feather on there in his little. And let's see, here's another. This is actually an, an ornament. So he's a little, um, I guess we've, we did it in pin cushion club and decided it was a pin cushion, but um, you can just put a little cord through there and he's an ornament. Another bunny or did I show this bunny? No, this was the other one. See what the difference. 
And this one has a little cotton tail. This little guy, I feel like I could remember his name. What's his I name? Think it's just Hoot. Hoot? He is so cute. And he comes in his package, right? Do the buttons come in his package or the package are separate? It's separate. Separate. So I don't know if you can see, there's little eyes and a tiny little beak that's in there. And I think that the package is enough for three of them. And this is just super simple. It's really just um, three tiny little pieces of fabric. And he is super fun. And you can make him all kinds of ways by throwing um, little edges in there. Um, let's see, this one is the Cardinal. Extremely popular. There's a sports team, apparently, um, known as the Cardinals. Uh, so, um, really popular. Here we have a little scarecrow. Oh, he actually has a pin in him. Imagine that. This one is the cat pin cushion and my granddaughter Eliza and I did a series, a beginner series, and we did eight projects that were just some basic projects using um, fusible web, using wool, using um, um, all kinds of different techniques, and this was one of them. And so uh, this is the little cat pin cushion, and of course it's the, um, the buttons make the whiskers, which make them kind of fun. Let's see, up here, this one is another one of mine, the flower patch. And so you can do this one. It's kind of 3D wool, which makes it kind of fun. Um, or you can add some kind of fun buttons and just frame it or turn it into a wall hanging. So your colors, you know, you can kind of do anything you want to with the colors. This one, uh, Vintage I don't know what camper. it's called. Vintage camper. <laughs> of course, that's what it is. Vintage camper. What's fun about this one too is you can really personalize it whatever color you want. And again, it's made out of wool, but um, you could make it out of cotton. We just like the wool because again, with the wool, there's no raw edges there. You can just cut just a really thin strip of wool, stitch all of that down. You don't have to worry about anything else. So it makes it kind of fun and quick and easy. This one little this one is right here it's called spring bloom so super quick and let's see let's go down to the next i think i did most oh we have a little he's rudy rudy we did this one I have to keep checking to see what she has in her mouth <laughs> We did this one during, uh, for a Valentine's Day one. Can you think of what he's called? Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's adorable. Um, again, if you go to our website, we have a drop down menu and under shops, shopping online, uh, or is pin cushion a whole separate section on our menu? It might be a whole separate menu it section. Be. It might be. We have a lot. But of... the pin cushion, they're all in one spot. You don't. One think, spot. You don't have to look everywhere. So you'll notice there'll be a, just a few links below mm -hmm. that have all the pincushion and some other notions you might need. And the other thing that you might want to know about our website is that if it suddenly disappears, it's because it's out of stock. So if you know that we have it or believe that we have it, just shoot us a quick little email or give us a quick call. Um, we're here in the store Wednesday through Saturday um, for the retail store that's open, but we're here six days a week filling online orders. So um, um, if for some reason something disappears, it just means that it's out of stock. So um, we can we can get you that. Um, this one, can't think of the name of it, Little Sheep. And people did different things for the Little Sheep blanket. This is just a simple piece of wool. But if you have um, maybe some fabric that's quilted, um, that was really cute. We had different options for that. Oh, I found another snowman in the back back here. I think his name is Chili. No, that was the name of the pink cushion. Mm. I don't know. Little cardinal on his head. Here's another cat. Oh, she found more. She found the Halloween ones. Here's another cat. Here is a chicken. Cute little chicken. Super fast. Really, really fast. Here's another snowman. I told you we love snowmen. And we have button packs for different ones or can find the buttons for you. Another cat with a little long tail. And you can do different things or not decorate the ears, whatever you'd like. 
Um, let's see what else. Um, we have this one. This one comes in a kit or a pattern. It is just a great big heavy one. We have talked about this before on our box openings when we had some more that had come in. And so the kit looks like this and it has everything in there. It has the, but these are covered buttons. There's one on each side. It has the embroidery floss. It has even the needle and the um, pinkish, uh, the um, walnut shells are even in there. There's also a smaller version and that one um, comes the same way, all packaged together. Um, okay, so these are some of the Halloween ones. If you saw our um, shop tour, was it number two maybe? Um, we did a tour of the Halloween area and that's where these are sitting. But this is one of the pumpkins, a little tall guy. This one is another one. Um, this one is called um, Mummy, I think. This one is a little witch's shoe. This one is Frank. It's hilarious. Um, if you don't want to do the bolts out of wool, you can actually put real bolts in there, which is just adorable, super cute. Um, little witch's hat. And again, your witch's hat, you can decorate that any way you'd like to put whatever colors or baubles or buttons you'd like. It doesn't have to be those little bits of wool. Um, oh, there's the little bat and the little bat you can see is just adorable, real similar to the cute little Tweety bird. Really cute. And then this guy, oh my gosh, we had so much fun with this one because we made some, we, you make them all and then you stitch them together, but you can make them and then put them on top of a spool of thread. So that little spider is super cute or the little Frank. And you can see that he really does have a nail in there, not um, something else that's been done. And then um, I want to show you a couple other things. I want to show you the, um, for wool, if you don't have access to wool, again, you can give us a call or email or write it on your notes. If you've ordered a pattern and you say, you know, this is the pattern that I want. Let's see. Let's pick one, see what it is. You want to do the vintage camper and say, you know, can you just put some wool together? Um, we can email you. Uh, we can send you a little PayPal invoice and pick all of your wool out for you. Um, we have different things. We have... Um, um, what size are these? These, these are, are the, 14 by 17. And they are priced at? $12.50. There you go. And these are mostly solid. These are Sue Spargo's wool. Um, so these are nice. You can make a lot out of that. This is a fat eighth. So this is a um, 6 by 16. 6 by 16. Fat 16th. 6 by 16. And these are $7. They come in a variety of colors also. And it is all pre-washed felted wool. 100% wool not the same thing as felt. Um, wool will last for forever and ever and ever. Um, it's fully washable, um, but it's all been felted so it won't shrink at all. You can put it even as applique on top of your quilts and um, still 100% washable and no raw edge. We also have this. These are called smidgens and they're little two and a half inch squares. There's 50 of them in here and they come as brights or darks or mixed. So they're kind of fun for um, bits of wool. And then we also have wool pennies, a little bit different, not so much for pin cushions, but just for fun things. And these come packaged like this and they're again, darks, brights, or um, mixed. And there's a variety of sizes in there. There's one inch, one and a half inch or two inch. And so they're kind of fun and useful. The last ones I wanna show you, I don't know if we can come down and zoom in. Oh, wait, wait, there was two over here. This one comes as a kit or as a pattern. And I think it's just called wool pin cushion. And again, I love that shape. And sometimes it's good just to see how big something is. And I made this out of wool, but you wouldn't have to if you didn't want it to be quite so expensive with the wool. Wool is, um, of course, a premium price. You could make it out of cotton and you could do your appliques out of cotton if you'd rather do that. Um, all right, so now let's kind of zoom down maybe a little bit into Millie. So Millie, this pattern is really fun, super fun to do. Um, 
really fast. This was another one that we did just as a two hour class. Um, the pattern shows you this one. So it shows you how to make the body, these little arms and the little legs, gives you some ideas about hair, and then it gives you the applique to be able, or the shape to be able to make a heart or to be able to make a flower. I think these are the two that are pictured on the pattern. And then you can do, you can just leave the face blank if you'd like to, or you can use a um, permanent marker and draw the face on, doesn't make, matter. But what we did and we thought was kind of fun is all of us in class made nine and then we swapped them so we had some little mini me's so um so everybody has one that um is from a friend so this one was mine with the glasses and the messy hair and um holding bolts of fabric um this one is um our friend mirth um this looks just like her uh with her hair and glasses and holding a quilt this one is Carolyn or CK or Peaches. And so she has this long braid, loves purple, and of course she raises goldens. So this one was Sandy. Sandy is a school teacher. And so that's what she you selected school teacher fabric and a button that was a crayon. They're not all here, are they? This one was um, is Brianna. Um, at the time, this was five years ago, Brianna was um, uh, planning a wedding. And so this is her little bride pincushion. Let's see, this one is Millie. Millie has been coming to all of the pincushion clubs she's never missed, and she always brings the warm chocolate chip cookies. So she found the perfect fabric to um, be holding a cookie. Um, this one is Sabrina. Sabrina and her daughter both work here. And this is hilarious. Oh, they've... <laughs> Sabrina, you can tell, is well endowed. <laughs> That's what she did. She's not holding anything. She's just trying to hold them up. So um, that one is Sabrina. And then last, I think this one over here, I think was Cheryl. And so Cheryl just did wild hair. Or was this one Kim? This one was Kim and holding the flower. And this is one of uh, Laura Estes' ruched flowers. Um, I think this one down here was, and the pattern looks like this. So, and this is a pattern again, really a fun thing to do with friends or sisters or guilds. It's just a $4.99 pattern and um, you have full size templates for all of the pieces. So, all right, I think, um, I feel fairly certain that we missed uh, some of the pin cushions. We have them all over the shop, but um, at least this is a little smattering. Um, you might find other pictures on the website of other patterns. And I'm so sorry you didn't get to see them um, in full scale with us holding them, but I hope you enjoyed this and join us every Sunday as we continue to make it through the shop, um, showing you our shop and a trunk show of all of the things that we have um, here in our store. So thanks for watching. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net. <laughs> Not a toy. Not a squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> But it could be. <laughs> no. These are pin cushions.